Good day, ladies and gents. This is Paul and my good buddy Will slash mechanic with CFO Adventures. All right, guys. Here goes our trip. So we have a unique one this time. Uh, we're going to get a 1947 COE. Been hunting one of these for two, three years now, ever since you know, almost when I got my 53 Ford. So, in this case, happens to be in Tennessee. We don't have a lot of time. So, our second thought was, hey, let's fly out there and go get the COE. Well, if you think about how much time it actually takes to go to an airport, you drive there, 45 minutes, get there two hours early, which I never do, but two hours early, take your hour flight, Get off the airport, probably kill at least 30 minutes trying to get out of there. Get a car. I mean, you're almost four hours right there. So you might as well drive a nice comfy truck like this, trailer, have some fun, right? Then, I don't know why it didn't dawn on me. I have two airplanes in Gastonia. The problem is getting somebody to fly the plane back, right? So yeah, I could fly somebody out there and drop them off, let them drive the car back, and I can fly. Well, what's the fun in that? I mean, I want to get the COE and I want to drive it. I want to say I went six hours in this thing. So that's what we're doing today. Honestly, the COE was the most fun part, but it kind of turned into a very unique day. <laughs> We're about to find out, and I'm not sure it will go as planned. I'm three minutes late, never good for a departure, but it's our own plane. What are they gonna do, right? Nobody's gonna do anything, but we're trying to get there and keep on schedule and you know, do what we gotta do. Soldier Boy Tell. Hey, I got the new damn for y'all called the Soldier Boy. You just gotta punch, then crank back three times from left to right. Uh, Soldier Boy I'm in it. Oh, Why me crank? COE was in Knoxville, Tennessee, so we decided to change it up a little bit, head out to Gastonia, which is AKH and depart this morning. We took the Cessna 182 out here to downtown Knoxville, and then my buddy Tom decided to fly the plane back for us so we got dropped off picked up by Dustin who was the builder you can actually see his tag right here and the truck was exactly what we thought it was so we took it paid it off we're heading home driving down I-40 so why me all right guys here she is stop to get some fuel half tank down two hours later but she is beautiful mm. On the road again Just can't wait to get on the road again The life I love is making music with my friends And I can't wait to get on the road again On the road again Going places that I've never been so I had typed it in at once, it says six hours, but apparently it's, what, four hours? Yeah. Something like that, three and a half, four hours from here. But so far it's going good. We have one little mishap where we uh, plugged in the car charger and it blew the fuse, the whole truck shut off. Well, we've already broke down, blow the fuse. Paul had to charge his phone. So we figured to learn that one real quick, pulled over at the truck stop, got a bunch of fuses. And now we're uh, rolling down I-40, 74, heading back to the house. With my friend. I can't wait to get 
on the road again South Carolina, everything went well. Drove great, smooth ride, 60, 70 mile an hour the whole time. Some little things we gotta do, but I think everything went really well. Switch out the uh, cigarette lighter, yeah. so we're good to go. All right guys, we're back home. We made it all the way back to the TK barn from Knoxville, Tennessee with this 1947 Chevy COE. Cab over engine, just for y'all that don't know what that is, but I've been in love with these trucks for a long time. This is right next to my 53 Ford. And it has a rolling chassis from a S10 uh, with a full suspension, disc brakes. The engine is a 350 small block, 700. Um, and then they basically raise the body, the cab up on the frame, and then they lowered the bed from a long bed Chevrolet. So this truck was actually on the Ultimate Bootlegger TV show where they had to uh, try to make a vehicle with secret compartments so that they could hide their moonshine as they went through Tennessee Hills. This one actually has a secret lever that pops open this. And then you have your storage compartment under there. The other place that they hit it was underneath this bed is a 55 gallon tank that holds moonshine. And it actually has a little spout right here that he added after the show. So you could put your moonshine bottles there and actually fill it up from the tank. The inside is pretty basic, but at least it's in decent shape. We'll have some new panels coming. You can see we traveled today from our airplane to our drive back. And uh, we'll probably change the seat out, get more of a King Ranch style seat with a middle console and cup holders, um, put some dyno mat. It actually was not hot at all. This thing like ventilates very well. I love COEs. I'm so ecstatic that we have a COE here finally. And that it's 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 on a, a truck chassis with a 350 engine. It drives just like a small truck. Interstate speeds, everything. I just can't get over that. I mean they got the exhaust is new, they have the custom drive shaft. It's an older truck. What what do you expect? But it drives so good. He did a really, really good job on this thing. What more can I ask for in a truck? You know, my, my 53 F100, it's like a drag racing, bored out, thumper cam engine, and that's amazing. And I do drive it a lot, but this is one you could drive out of town. You could take it up to Virginia. You could go up the interstate and pass everybody else waving at them. Because just so you know, everybody in the world that goes by this thing, hangs out their window, waves, says thumbs up. The gas stations, they're all talking to you. I mean, this is an amazing truck, and this just has the perfect setup. Look at this. Like, I love that long bed, drop 10 inches, and that cab sitting up on that frame. It's perfect. The flight out there, everything that we did today was totally worth this, so. All right, this is truly the best part of bringing one of these vehicles home. Is the boys get to ride around with me, right? Yeah, let's go for it. <laughs> 